Hello, I'm Dr Shane McKay, I'm a consultant clinical geneticist in Belfast City Hospital. Have you ever wondered where your eye colour comes from? Well, you might have been told at school about brown and blue eyes and how they are supposedly inherited, and it turns out that genetics is a wee bit more complicated than that. But have you ever wondered why some people may have different colours of eyes? There's a genetic condition called Vardenberg syndrome where patients can have different coloured eyes associated with hearing problems and sometimes other problems as well. In order to understand why this happens, we need to go back in time to when you were just a tiny little embryo about the size of a pinhead and made up of a little flat sheet of cells, a bit like a sheet of paper, which I happen to have here. Now at about two or three weeks after fertilisation, what happens is this sheet starts to fold down the middle, forming a groove with two little ridges on either side and these little ridges come together like a zip to form a tube down the middle and the tube is going to become the spinal cord but the cells out of the ridges where the whole thing zips together this is the neural crest so these are the neural crests and these cells are very very important if that tube fails to zip up properly at the bottom of the spine you get spina bifida where it remains open if it fails to zip up at the top of the spine you get a condition called anencephaly. This is a lethal abnormality where the brain fails to develop properly. However, if everything goes according to plan with the zipping, the cells of the neural crest go out on a journey to the rest of the embryo, and this is where things start to get interesting. Some of them end up in the skin, where they form the pigment cells that give our skin its colour, whatever that colour happens to be. Others end up in the iris, giving us our eye colour, and if some of them don't make it in time, we can sometimes see iris heterochromia, or sometimes even blue eyes in a person whose eyes genetically would otherwise be brown. So if certain neural, neural crest cells don't get to the cochlea of the inner ear, then the ear can't convert sound signals into nerve signals that go to the brain, and this results in deafness. There's other neural crest cells that if they don't get to the bile in time, it can result in a condition called Hirschsprung's disease, where a baby is unable to poo properly, and this can be extremely dangerous for the baby and requires an operation in very early life, usually at a few days. And these problems, iris heterochromia, hearing loss, Hirschsprung's disease, they're often seen in this condition, this genetic condition, Vardenberg syndrome. So these strange little zipper cells of the neural crest are pretty important and the next time you look in the mirror, just keep an eye out for some of them looking right back at you. See ya.